Hall of Fame, Tina Sprega. Here's a quote from Tina. If you dream it and believe it, then you can do it. But don't expect that it will all be handed to you and be ready to make some sacrifices along the way. Tina M. Sprega, President and CEO of GFA Federal Credit Union. Tina was appointed President and CEO in 2009. Under her leadership, GFA Federal Credit Union has doubled their number of branch locations from 5 to 10 and more than doubled their asset size to $590 million. The list of Tina's accomplishments is extensive. 2020 marks the celebration of 40 years at GFA Federal Credit Union for Tina Sprega. Now, a lot has changed at GFA and in the financial industry in the past 40 years. However, year after year, you can always find Tina's accomplishments highlighted, whether it be for her service to the community, her expertise within the financial industry, or her desire to be innovative. Under Tina's leadership, GFA Federal Credit Union has had a few of its own firsts. GFA became the first credit union in the nation to purchase a stock-owned bank, Monadnock Community Bank, which is known today as the Peterborough Branch location. Tina partnered with David Brown, the founder of CU Auto Advisors, to be the first credit union to offer a hassle-free car buying service to their members. GFA opened their Lemonster location in 2013, being the first new concept branch utilizing open concept and emerging technology. And more recently, GFA was the first financial institution in Massachusetts to provide banking services to the cannabis industry. Tina personally works with each and every MRB business owner to introduce and expose them to the numerous support partnerships that serve as resources and have been created to provide a turnkey banking solution for clients. In 1938, GFA began their mission to provide financial options to those who were underserved and overlooked. Today, under Tina's leadership, GFA still has that mission at the forefront of everything they do. Congratulations, Tina Sprega, Hall of Fame. Good morning. Thank you very much, Ron. I do hope that this virtual CCUA event finds everyone safe and well. These are certainly uh, crazy times, interesting, challenging, unsettling. Uh, there's a whole litany of words that could describe the year 2020. So I would like to pause and just say that it is both an honor and a privilege to be considered for this award and to be inducted into the CCUA Hall of Fame. It truly is a, a humbling experience for me. But the truth is, is that this award really belongs to the entire GFA Better Banking team. I am blessed to have a dedicated board of directors who share our collective vision uh, blessed to have a supervisory committee that handles their responsibilities with great precision and even more blessed to have a team of professionals that work alongside me every day uh, providing better banking to our members and making sure that our communities are well served as i was thinking about the award i was thinking about our founding fathers in the credit union industry and one of Edward Filene's most famous quotes is this, progress is the constant replacing of the best there is with something still better. And I think that that quote truly expresses how all of us approach our responsibilities as financial stewards of our respective credit units. As an industry, we're constantly searching for better ways to serve our members, better ways to differentiate, and better ways to make a difference in the lives of our members. So in reality, I think that it's safe to say that everyone in this room virtually together today, uh, that we're all Hall of Famers, excuse me, we're all Hall of Famers for the good work that we do each and every day. Uh, this year, I celebrate my 40th anniversary at GFA. Seems like the years just fly by and go by even faster. Uh, and I am truly thankful for the tremendous opportunity that's been presented to me to lead this organization. I'm thankful for the associations I've had with so many industry leaders and associations like CCUA. And as I said before, uh, none of this would be possible if I were not provided the opportunity to lead this fine organization, and if I didn't have the trust and support 
um, of our board of directors. So I humbly accept. Uh, I am extremely proud of what together we've all been able to accomplish and how we've positioned GFA for future growth and continued success. And in closing, I would just like to thank CCUA for the recognition and also wish to thank the entire GFA team because nothing that's been done has been done alone. It truly does take a village. Thank you so much. Be safe and be well.